All right, welcome to episode 30 of Adventures in Inbetweening. Today I'm breaking down a 28 second sequence from the opening of a film called Dead Leaves, a phenomenal 2004 crazy, messed up, kinetically frenetic piece of insanity that continues to inspire today. All right, that's pretty nuts, right? Let's uh, take a look at why this sequence works so well uh, with the use of cameras, color, contrast, and composition. Now you can see what's going on here. We have our two main characters, Retro and Pandy. Retro's got the TV head. He's coming along, he's panning. Now actually, looks, look at the background here. They're doing something fascinating. Look how I'm skipping every two frames here. The background is in exactly the same spot. That's very intentional. It's creating a strange strobing effect, which we would normally want to uh, avoid but they're doing it on purpose here. Just very experimental and uh, I think it's very cool. Here we have the robot coming in, really clear silhouette, really nice, you know, nice shapes and everything there. And then boom, on the car. The car is off screen. We have to pan down very quickly, just on that one frame to see the car. It's, it's, it's all very challenging visually here. It's giving us a lot of information in a very short amount of time. See the car is being pushed up. The, the door of the car is being all bent by the hand of the robot. It's just this sense of crazy uh, destruction and fast moving. And again, with the strobing background, that's helping not helping us focus, but it's, it's giving it this sense of uh, uh, energy. You just saw uh, with Retro's uh, shape there and his line of action, it was following the car. Okay, now we're on to shot two. Look at the number of colors we've got here. 12 colors on this entire uh, entire composition. It's just, they're making such good use of so little and they're doing it intentionally. It's, it's wonderful. Okay, shot three here. Now, it's, it, what we want to do here is we want to focus on Pandy's face and the action that's about to happen. So the camera move, the camera shake is literally just one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now her hand's gonna come up. As her hand comes up, her fingers are dragging behind. Now the wrist is gonna reverse. Fingers continue. Then we see the fist. That's all happening really nice and quickly. And then we get, again, the wrist leading. Now we're gonna have one frame of blur. And then we're gonna go into flash frame. Crazy designs, very cool. All, and, and, and then boom, we go right to the action here. Just that one frame, just to show, hey, something happened there. Here's where to focus your eye. And now the camera moving up and down is about three times as intense. It's the same frequency, up, down, up, down, up, down. Uh, now we're going to shot four here. We're starting on retro. We stay on him for two frames, which is really interesting. And then we do a three frame smash out instead of just smashing out from the beginning. Now retro is going to look up. We're going to follow his eyes looking up. We're going to pan up and say, hey, whoa, Pandy's, we haven't seen her fight yet. She's actually super powerful. And the only thing that's going on here is the background panning and the clothes and the hair ruffling in the wind. Now we got a shot five. Really clear silhouette here. Look at the, how the robot is surrounding Pandy. It's just, it's, it's such a strong, solid silhouette to start off the shot. And again, we've got that strobing background uh, happening uh, behind us there. So Pandy is moving, getting ready to punch here. And you see the camera isn't doing the shake now. We're not in the car and we just want to show the action as clearly as possible. Here's the first frame. It's like, what just happened there? What, what, what? We don't even know what that happened because we didn't see Pandy punch it. Now when we cut to Pandy punching, she's actually lower, but then we go higher. But the whole point was to focus our eyes more at the top right hand side of the screen because this is where the robot is starting to break apart, even though Pandy punched it down there at the, you know, at the middle left. Now we start to see that we see this terrific flash frame. Look at the difference between Pandy and the robot. And again, we do this one frame pan here. It's the same frame. It's just panning drastically. And then we can see the explosion in the back of the robot there. Wonderful shapes, two colors here. And then we go here, we've got the Japanese characters coming on. We see the robot ex exploding from behind. Now we have all this camera shake. Again, before the punch, this camera was completely just following along nicely, very smooth, very smooth. Now we're gonna continue here. And this is where we cut to, uh, we 
change the uh, camera angle 90 degrees here, and now we're behind the robot. And we can see Pandy, we can see Retro, we can see all of the letters coming towards us here. All of these, ooh, ah, goon. Just, I, I don't even know that it makes a, a proper word, but just the energy is, is showing all these letters, all these words coming towards us. And everything is in perspective here. And the only thing that we can see, and again, the camera here is very, very slight motion. We want to see the faces of Pandy and Retro, and we just see the road panning past. And here's a, we got these lightning little bits in the front. They don't even have glow on them. It's very simple. This, I'm amazed here how little this camera is moving. It's, it's liter it, they just want to show us the faces of the characters. You'd think that there's going to be all kinds of crazy camera stuff, but it's still... It's still for the contrast of all the craziness. Now we have static move motion. Now we're going to cut to shot seven. This is the same shot, pretty much as shot five, uh, same camera angle. Again, very static camera uh, when it comes to uh, not moving up and down a lot. Pandy's legs coming forward. Look how much her foot is stretching out here. Now we actually do see a kick here with one frame and the other uh, leg is coming up there. And then we go to our flash frames. Boom, there's our impact, all moving outwards, another flash frame. This is, uh, this is a recurring uh, theme you'll be able to see throughout this. And look at these shapes of the robot here on this flash frame. Just really, really nice and angular. And then we go to here, Pandy's foot's followed through. The robot is getting kicked up. And now again, drastic camera shake. Nothing at the beginning, drastic afterwards. We want to set up this contrast. We want to feel like it's not always... If it's always moving, then if you move it, it doesn't have that impact. We need that sense of slow, fast. Now, Pandy's going to be spinning around. There's some interesting, bizarre stuff going on here right now. When uh, she's spinning, you know, we've got the static camera again. And as she's spinning, we have one shot where she's spinning is 14 frames, shot 8, then shot 9 is 10 frames, shot 10 is 8 frames, shot 11 is 6 frames. Shot 12 is 7 frames, and shot 13 is 5 frames. Keep getting shorter and shorter and shorter, and the, and the composition in those shots is very strange. Like, things are kind of off to the side, but it's just keeping the energy up. Now here, we're going to have 19 flash frames in a row as Pandy kicks the robot. Here we go from her leg, which was a kind of an abstract shape, to this flash frame here. Now we just got a black, now we got a white frame. Now we've got some impact over to the right. Showing energy coming out that way. Great. Now we're going to have some very abstract stuff. Now we're going to get into the words. Kick. And let's have a foot there for kick. Why not? It's, it's just, uh, they're just having so much fun with it. Some more flash frames. Let's have bash on there. Cool. I mean, this is a Japanese anime, but they're still using English words. Again, down to the bottom left, down to the top right. We have 19, almost a full second of flash frames here going sequentially in a row. Now we cut to three frames of, of regular animation, and then we go into eight more flash frames. And again, look at, the, look at the shapes here. Pandy is in the orange, the robot is in the green. Just terrific contrast. Again, we've only got two colors here. And now we're going to see this walk. Walk. This actually stays on for six frames, this word. It gets bigger, it goes up and down, and then it spreads apart. So this word is on here for long enough for us to read it clearly. Six frames is kind of that, uh, that threshold at which we could say, wow, look, I can completely read that word just to, even if I'm watching it in real time. And look, just slight stuff. Look at the foreshortening on Pandy's leg here. Very nice, very effective as she's spinning around. Now she's continuing to spin. Her momentum is carrying her. The robot is continuing to spin. You can see the arms dragging behind on the robot. This is, uh, this is our wide shot that's just showing everything very clearly. Uh, look at those robot silhouettes on the hand. Again, look at the car. The car is completely static still there. No extraneous motion. We wanted to just focus on the clarity of what's happening. Shot 16 here is uh, nice and short. Retro uh, throws the gun. Shot 17, the gun wasn't there for one frame at the beginning. Then it comes in. Uh, quick shots. Shot 18, Pandy comes down right away. She starts off with her leg in the screen. Retro's going to reach down for the gun, they're going to go back, they're going to start shooting at the robot, and of course, when they're shooting their guns, we're going to see the words blam, 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 and you can see that I was drawing the, uh, the shadows on uh, Pandy's face here. Very stark, not subtle at all. This is all just hit you in the 
hit 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 you uh, you know s straight between the eyes with uh, the visuals here. Again with the blam blam blam, couldn't be more clear. Look at this two colors, terrific lighting uh, showing on retro there. It's it's just the 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 creativity, the clarity of all this, the experimentation. Just uh, I first saw this about five years ago, and it stayed with me. Uh, I, I recommend it. It's uh, it's a, you know it's a little ultra violent if you're uh, if you can handle that. Dead leaves is a great thing to go see. Uh, it, it's not that easy to find, but it is out there. I've got it on DVD. And uh, thanks for checking it out. I'll see you next time.